Doppler effect or Doppler shift happens when either the wave source is moving or the observer is moving or maybe both are moving. If they are getting closer, then the frequency observed by the observer would shift higher, higher than the original frequency. If they are getting farther apart, the observer would observe a frequency that is lower than the original frequency. And this can happen to any waves, can be sound wave, light, etc. When the wave source is moving at a speed that is slower than the speed of a wave, the wave form will look like this or that. See, the wave source is moving to the right in both cases. That's why the wavelength over here is shorter than the wavelength on that other side. Same here. This, speed, this wave source is moving at a faster rate than that one compared to the speed of the wave. If the wave source is moving at the same speed as the speed of the wave, then the waveforms will look like this. The source is here and all the wave fronts are over here as well. If the wave source is moving at a speed that is faster than the speed of the wave, then we will get waveforms that look like this. And this part here would be the shock wave cone. And that's a, if this is an airplane, supersonic airplane, then people over here would uh, hear sonic boom from this shock wave cone. If theta here is uh, the half angle of this shock wave cone, then we can draw this uh, wave right here. Let's say the, when this wave was produced, the source is here. And uh, in the same amount of time t, the wave has traveled this distance, uh, the wave speed times the time while the wave source has traveled from here to there, so it's the speed of the wave source times time. And the, this side here is opposite to the angle, and that's the hypotenuse, because this is a 90 degree angle. Therefore, we have sine theta equals to the opposite side over the hypotenuse. So it's the speed of the wave times time divided by the speed of the source times time. And of course, we can cancel the time, so we get this equation right here that relates the half angle of the shock wave cone and uh, the speed of the wave to the speed of the source.